everyone, it's Miss Ha, and I'm in my temporary dark space science lab. I call this the Nook, and this is where I do all my work, and when you listen to me on Seesaw and you hear me commenting or talking about your investigation, this is where I sit and I look out the window, just like in my dark space science lab. I want to show you some things at my desk that help me stay organized while I'm doing my work. It's really important. Now your home is your classroom. So you want to have an organized place where you can work and study and learn. So come on over. This is my desk. And one of the things that's really important that I do um, for every week is I have a schedule for myself. And it has the different days of the week. I have organized when I have different Zoom calls and different tasks to do. I've got my binoculars that I made. And guess what? You know what those are, two toilet paper rolls and I stapled them together. You can make your own and you can actually decorate yours. Maybe in the next episode, you'll see that I decorated these binoculars. I like to look out the window and observe nature. And I've got my crystals there. And what I'm gonna use today and what you're gonna need today in today's lesson is we're gonna be recording in our science notebook. So you will need a form of paper. It can be some kind of scrap paper. If you have a notebook, turn something else into a science notebook. Maybe you have your science notebook from last year that you brought home at the end of the school year and you can reuse the pages. Whatever you have, you're gonna to use today. And I'm gonna record my ball and ramp investigation from yesterday. So we're gonna go back to the yoga mat, <clears throat> or from last week, I mean. And you're gonna watch the video ball and ramp investigation number one again. You're gonna re-watch it so you can see the activity. And we're gonna record the activity today. So we did the investigation last week, we did the test, and now we've gotta record it so we can communicate our ideas to other people. So you can see I've got my materials. Remember, I've got this little cuties box with this little clementines. I had this T-Mobile box, <clears throat> fish oil capsules, other cat pain caplets, whatever. And I am testing out a ball and ramp system. A ramp is also known as an inclined plane. Can you say inclined plane? Yep. And with an inclined plane, it's just like a ramp. And you might have tested out a few different systems using different parts. So I've got my um, my, my ball and my ramp, and maybe you tried some things out like this and you watched what happened. You did different tests with different objects. So today we're going to record all about that. So I've got my notebook and I want you to get your notebook and feel free to watch this video again and again so you can learn what to do. Feel free to pause wherever you need to when you need to get ready to do something. So I'm going to record by first writing the heading and that's ball. and ramp investigation a big word coming up i n v e s t i g a t i o n ball and ramp investigation number 1 and i want to include today's date the days are getting a little blurry for me, but today is April 6, 2020, and I'm using the numerical form, April 6, 2020. So I'm going to record my ideas now, and I'm going to record with a picture, um, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Just try your best to record what you see. So I have my system like this. I've got a ramp. I've got that cuties box. It's a rectangle shape. I've also got my little T-Mobile box just like this. Like I said, it's not perfect and I'm working on writing more gently. Um, I'm gonna label my little cuties. With a mechanical pencil, you've gotta get it just right. And this is a ramp and I'm gonna just, hmm. Well, I don't think it's a good idea to actually put a label there like that because I want to draw the wheel going down. So that's why it's important to use a pencil sometimes at first so you can erase. So I have my ramp and I have my ball. But maybe I'll first draw the materials next to each other. Like this.
It's this is my ball. It's actually a jar or a pillowcase. And this is my ramp. And you notice the ramp is at an angle. And we tried rolling it down, right? And you're gonna have to figure out how you're gonna represent this. It's not quite how it looks, but you'll figure it out. Sort of a cylinder going down. Maybe you'll draw arrows. I'd like to see how you record it. You can also use colors. And after you do a picture and you label it, then I want you to communicate in your notebook what you did, what you did to create it. So I'm going to write a little list. I'm, or I'm going to describe, I used a cuties box to make a ramp. Make sure you're writing complete sentences and that we can read it in the video. I used a cuties box to make a ramp. Then, well, yeah. I used a jar, well, it's like a pill case, I guess. Use a jar as a ball to roll down the ramp. You could tell me anything about how fast it went or how far it went. This is a basic example of what I'd like to see in your student notebook. So today I want you to rewatch Ball and Ramp Investigation number one. That's when we created the investigation together. And now in Ball and Ramp Investigation number two, we're recording in our science notebook using pencil, using paper, maybe colored pencils or crayons or other colored materials. Please use pictures. Uh, label your work and communicate in words what you did before and then you're going to take a photo or a video of your work just like you saw Miss Ha do but we're going to record today on pencil and paper in our science notebook okay okay can't wait to see you then bye